began with a few small steps found the fuel of ambition and became a journey of a lifetime a journey of more than 4 decades a journey that's brought success and recognition a journey that's created the most respected and admired business and industrial house of the country apj satya and swaran group a journey that's pushed the envelope of education and employment a journey against odds and conventions a journey of vision courage and determination the journey of mrs sushma barlia In 1942, late Dr. Satya Paul laid the foundations of APJ in the town of Jalandhar, an enterprise which has grown over the decades and charted newer territories. Dr. Satya Paul was an eminent industrialist, educationist, philanthropist, and freedom fighter. As a progressive businessman, he exposed his growing up daughter. to his business practices his values and most importantly to his vision for the future i remember late nights before going to sleep he would be reading me from different books philosophical fiction and so many others or just discussions about some of the things we may have seen or heard and then try to come to various ideas thoughts going ahead from there and he always encourage me to feel that there is nothing in the world that i cannot do if i set my mind to do that a learning that became her guiding light when she took over the reins of the group the chair in the office has a very special meaning for me as you must have seen it's not a normal chair which you usually find in executive offices this is a chair which my father preferred to sit on for many decades and whenever i sit there i seem to draw the same spirit the motivation the energy and the inspiration and therefore i have kept it and i continue to sit in it the transformation though wasn't easy at the time she was already a mother of 3 very far removed from running a business taking it up as a challenge she shouldered responsibility of not just the business but also the future of its 500 odd employees it was uh, you know literally learning by fire or as i say you throw somebody into the sea and hopefully you hope that they will swim uh, i had to start developing and building businesses because my father was not enjoying very good health at that time today the apj satya group is known as a leader across various business verticals we needed to look at creating a niche for ourselves in that process we said we will go for products which are filling in gaps in patient care and which are filling in a need in some therapeutic area of the different doctor kind of doctors we go to we started already as a, as a multi generational family group but within the last 10 to 15 years we've really made a huge change we've gone in from a very from some very traditional industries to those which are more in the terms of the knowledge economy today if you look at where we stand in the value chain we have not only gone up the r&d systems and infrastructure but we've also built in key capacities to to take the group to the next level recognition and applause came her way She created history when she became the first woman to head a multi-state apex chamber in the country. She had in her personality all the traits of her father, 
the father was always uh, towards education of giving nature and uh, whenever the any occasion arose for give, giving any donation or anything, he was always in the forefront. So, Susma uh, inherited those qualities in her and at the same time, she had many more other qualities which impressed me while working with her on several occasions and more particularly when I was the chairman of PhD Chamber of Commerce and she was vice chairman and then later on she took a chairperson of the chamber and then also I have seen her in many chambers of commerce like Fiki etc. She very eloquently puts across her points very convincingly. But entrepreneurial success never let Mrs. Sushma Barlia lose sight of the larger APJ vision. Looking ahead, the best way I can express it is rooted in values and soaring on wings. Throughout this phenomenal growth, APJ Group has maintained its commitment to education that began in 1968 with the establishment of the first APJ school by her father. You know that for APJ, uh, education has never been seen as part of our businesses. Strengthened by her success, Mrs. Sushma Barlia took this vision and created a long-lasting heritage of education. As President of APJ Education Society and Chancellor of APJ Satya University, she has strived to deliver value-based global standards of education. It was the family that I went to. The women in that family had not even ever stepped inside the office premises. Leave aside have anything to do with it. Mr. Berlia has been a source of great strength and support to me throughout this period. As a means of women empowerment, she has actively promoted higher institutions devoted to women's education. What we realized is that a lot of places there were schools, but because there was only one school, most of the girls were really not going to that school, partly because people didn't want growing up girls to be in a co-educational school in many of those communities. We also, for instance, established College for Women in Charki Dadri, which was one of the most backward areas of uh, Haryana in those days. And I still distinctly remember that the principal at that time and all of us had to literally go and household to household and encourage the families to send their girls to study in that college. With such an illustrious career, finding personal time can be a challenge. It's remarkable how she has still managed to find time to be the guiding light for her family. She would be in a meeting with some very high powerful people, businessmen, international leaders, uh, and her phone will ring and she'll see it's one of us. And she'll, she'll pause the entire meeting and say, look, I'm sorry, my family always comes first. Given the cultural norms and the society that we live in, for a woman, it's always a uh, task which requires greater challenges. And her own nurturing mind and heart, perhaps, add to the problem. And I have this very distinct memory, I remember when um, I, I remember the same day, I would recall, she went to, uh, she went to work in the morning. Um, she had a whole number of meetings that day. There was some international delegation, which I just remember there were 15, 20 foreigners at her home, and there was some deep business which was going down. And then late in the evening, she, she was sitting with me and helping me do, do, late at night rather, helping me do my chemistry notes. From my mother, I learned the value of unconditional love and how important it is in everybody's life. From my daughter, I really learned how not to take a no and never to have given up. Life at the helm of APJ Group hasn't been easy, but for a leader, it never is. It takes such a phenomenal energy because, you know, it's very easy to be just a businessman, uh, just a mother, just a philanthropist or something. But to be able to put all of that, and of course a wife, a daughter and everything, is it, it takes a unique amount of capacity, thought process, whatever you want to say. It's a very rare individual who can do that.
it's been a long journey of putting one dream in motion at a time. A journey that's still seeking new destinations. The journey of a true leader.